Hi folks, gonna give you a rundown on what I'm gonna do. You probably watched my video a couple weeks ago, the if you're watch if you're not squeamish video. I was emptying boats out of the yard. I kept one of the, the boat trailer that I was using. It makes a nice trailer. I'm getting ready to sell the old pickup that I'm posting a video of. Uh, and I need a utility trailer so I can still haul some lumber, some plywood, some whatnots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this uh, boat trailer into a utility trailer. And what I've got is some scrap steel that I've collected over the years that I can use. I'm gonna do this on the, on the cheap. But like everything I do, I'm gonna do it sturdy. I'm gonna do it well. It's gonna turn out nice. And uh, I'll be able to still haul some stuff. Let's go take a look at some of the scrap pieces I got. Because what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull these cross beams off with these uh, roller bunks here. They pivot here. I'm going to pull those off and I'm going to weld some stringers across this way. And then I'll put me a 2x6, two 2x8, by, uh, two by two whatever calculates out pretty well to cover that bed with treated lumber. So then I'll have a nice bed. Then I'll put some side rails on it. I'll put some tie down hooks, uh, something along these edges here that I can hook ratchet straps to to tie it down and leave myself room for a truck box up front, probably more, like, more than likely. And then I'm going to shorten this trailer tongue up. Uh, it's way longer than it needs to be. It was for a boat, for an 18 foot boat. I'm just making a little utility trailer out of it, so I'm going to shorten it up quite a bit. But that's just going to require me to cut it off here, drill a couple holes, slide this part here back into here. Boom, bam, bam. Just like that, we'll have a utility trailer in no time. So let me show you some of the scrap steel I got. All right, I retrieved some uh, leftover steel here that I had out in the lean-to from some other projects, other scrap. Uh, I built a greenhouse uh, in, out of a machinery crate. I'll show you that real quick. Let's see if we can get a picture of it up here. Had a machine come in. And I turned that machine crate into a greenhouse for my wife. This is the leftover steel that I cut out of the bottom in areas I didn't need it in. Held on to it because you never know when it might come in handy. But this is going to make perfect cross beams to weld in on that trailer. And then I'll drill through it and put the uh, planks on it and bolt that down. It'll be a pretty cool trailer once I'm all done. So let's get started on the sawing process. I took measurements for my cross beams, now I'm going to start cutting. Let the transformation begin. Now I'm going to switch into hyper mode!
Okay, folks, hang in there with me. We're just about done. Just a little more welding, and then I'll show you. Yeah, there's a blueprint. That's crazy. He's working off a blueprint. Yeah, I gotta sketch things out every now and then and figure out what some of my measurements are gonna be. But instead of drilling holes through my cross beams and trying to bolt it that way where it will actually squash the tubing if I over tighten it, I am going to weld on a piece of angle iron. So I had to go and do some calcu calculations here and get some uh, configurings done. And where I'm gonna drill some holes. So now I'm gonna take this angle iron I got cut and I'm gonna drill some holes in it. And we're gonna get welding. We're gonna finish welding everything up and we're gonna get it back and put together. The first job it's gonna do is haul its own lumber. We're gonna haul the lumber home on my trailer then we're going to take the lumber off we're going to paint it then we're going to put the lumber back on stay tuned watch it high speed let's get going Pew! see how it's starting to take shape I've still got uh, right here I'm gonna cut these off to match the angle of the trailer and I've got another board I'm gonna put right in this slot right here and it'll, I'll cut notches so it fits around this I'll cut the back off so it's squared across the back closer obviously to the back of the trailer and I'm still deciding whether I want to put a beaver tail on this because it might be nice to have a beaver tail because it can that way I can have shorter ramps involved with it so I might weld some extensions on the back of here and extend it out a little bit. The axle position is in a perfect position to be able to do something like that. But as you can see, it's starting to take shape. I've got, whoops, I've got one bolt in each board. Right now, the, the treated lumber is pretty wet and green, so I'm just gonna put the boards on it for now. And like this, let it dry for all week. Uh, cause I really want to paint underneath there. Obviously I want to pull the boards back up. I want to paint all the metal underneath with some good Rust-Oleum like I did my other trailer. And then we'll lay the boards back down. Then it'd be good for many, many years. Well, folks, I decided to make this a, this is part one of, of two videos I'm going to do. The second video will be me finishing off the rest of it. Uh, putting the, cutting the other boards in on the sides. Uh, maybe putting a beaver tail on the back of it next weekend and doing the paint and making the boards a permanent fixture uh, and then i'll actually shorten up the wiring up front here i haven't done that yet but it did pull really good i pulled it to town today to get this lumber and uh i ran it across the scale actually in town to see what the whole trailer would weigh with that lumber on it and it was about 750 pounds so it's a pretty heavy trailer but it's not crazy heavy but it will haul a lot of weight uh it's got good axles it's got a good a good axle heavy axle in it should handle at least 2,000 pounds if not more but uh it's looking good i'm pretty excited i'm pretty happy with it uh, i think i'm gonna load up these boxes i built earlier today on it it's gonna be the first thing i haul uh to deliver to a customer and then we'll finish up the trailer next weekend i hope so thank you folks for watching stay tuned for part two coming up soon got any ideas got any suggestions throw them my way i'm, I'm more than willing to listen to comments or read your comments folks uh, get out there and do something fun. That's what I've been doing all weekend. Michael, out.